Hello and welcome everyone to episode 52 of One Piece at a Time, the One Piece read-through podcast where we read and discuss five chapters of the One Piece manga each and every week. I'm your host, Derek Bittner, and I'm joined by my wonderful co-host and freelance letterer at Shonen Jump, Brandon Bovia. How you doing, Brandon? How's it going? I'm, of course, uh, Brandon Bovia, the letterer for manga like Kaiju number 8, which just had volume 5 come out. I guess it would be last week when this comes out. Uh, go pick up that, and then, of course, Dragon Ball Super, which uh, should have a new chapter coming out sometime soon-ish. <laughs> and mi- many, many other manga, of course. <laughs> Very exciting there. That's a, that's pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, before we actually even get into the manga itself, uh, we had the at least... As of the recording right now, I think the game's actually out fully for every. Well, yeah, definitely yeah, out it fully just came for out everybody. Today. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I, have you seen reviews yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually. Oh, okay. What's what? Well, I'll ask you about those because I've not actually seen any. I've been slightly under the weather, um, yeah. So I haven't. I haven't been able to see all of that. But I did get to try the demo. I've played a bit of the demo myself as well, not to completion. Though. Okay. Okay. What are your thoughts? <laughs> well, the reviews, I would say broadly, good, not great. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and I'm I'm very much in that camp there. It just is sort of exactly what you would expect for like a, you know, like a licensed uh, One Piece game of this type. Like it, it's fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's aggressively fine. Uh, I definitely was a, a bit bored playing the demo and the reviews all seem to kind of the the broad opinion is that it's uh, pretty easy and kind of just like slowly paced but uh, i think fans of one piece are used to slow pacing if you're an, a fan of the anime <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess that's the truth yeah i i did play the demo to completion it basically gets you to the how far how where'd you end off i'm exiting the cave which which cave like the oh okay okay so it's like uh, you meet the guy with the tattoos. And oh, yeah. I, f- I forget his yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of, you sort of, I got some of my powers back. Uh, There's like a, you, you got a cube and you got some of your powers back. Okay. So you you haven't actually left the cave yet. You're on the way to exit the cave. I'm, yeah, I'm on my way out. Okay. You're basically done. As soon as you exit the cave, the demo's okay. over. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you're, that's why I was uh, like, wait funny. a second. I think you actually are finished, but you haven't actually fin- left the cave yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, there are things I, I do like about this, the, the, the demo and the setup for and everything else like that. But there are things that are holding it back. As you say, I, I, it's hard for me to tell how hard the game is because most of the demo has you with most of your powers, which is great. Yeah, because exactly. You get to demonstrate most of what there is. It shows that the, you know, the, the crew is really damn powerful. Who knew? Yeah. All of their, uh, like, their special attacks, uh, they're, they're all really, like, flashy and well animated. <laughs> they're mm-hmm. all... Uh, so I was definitely kind of like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose all of these powers, and I'm just gonna be like mashing the basic attack button for the <laughs> next like couple hours. Yeah, like, all right, yep. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of what it feels like. But honestly, it'd give you a better, uh, more of a. I thought it was gonna be like one power, one cube. <laughs> so mm-hmm. at least yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> you get a nice chunk back when you get that when you get that back. Yes, I was I was definitely happy to see that. <laughs> Uh, but a lot of those attacks are really impressively animated. Luffy's looks great. I, I there's so many you don't see them all, and they're not mm-hmm. always all effective for the the situation you're in. But the ones that are available, it's like man, this does look really good. And th- there's some really funny ones as well, like Robin. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, spoil I cannot it, but... believe they put that in the game. <laughs> I know. I know. I correct. What's up. impressive is that. It's not always available because I tried against yeah. a certain boss and it does yeah, not work. Yeah, I tried it too. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> that that the fact that they uh, they accounted for that is really funny." Mm-hmm. I also like with Nami, they have her. You can steal. You can steal berries from it. Not a lot of berries, apparently, from when I, one time I used it. But I also noticed in her list she had the happiness punch. I'm like, uh, <laughs> "Where are they I going?" <laughs> uh, what's this game rated <laughs> yeah where are they going with this and she does do the line it's like i'm charging you all 100,000 berries each or whatever it was and she just does this like sexy pose to it so, uh, uh, i mean it's it's equivalent could, to like you can only uh, go so far <laughs> yeah it's kind of equivalent to a puff puff and dragon quest mm-hmm. i think yeah, it's kind of same effect but you know, everybody else has these these really fun animations, and a lot of it works. Like, of course, Chopper's the healer that make you know that works out, and the battle system honestly is pretty interesting. How you have these little groups that you can move between with all with all the enemies, it, it makes it 
at least a little bit more dynamic. Yeah, it's it's more than just because it is kind of like a basic rock, paper, scissors kind of system. Mm -hmm. But now you kind of have to think about like, well, you have, you know, certain matchups uh, with like your crew is in like they're in different groups and they can't you can't always target target weaknesses as easily if everybody is in sort of a separate group. So there, there is like some a tactical element to it. Yeah. It, 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 it feels like there's room to grow as it goes on. Maybe it doesn't based on the reviews that you saw, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it felt like it had potential. Honestly, my biggest hangs up hangups were visually it sometimes it doesn't look great as far as the character designs are concerned. Like it just doesn't work in 3d. Yeah, I kind of wish they went for like a cell shaded look, and st I don't know why. Like, I don't like know. even if they're different developers, like a, a lot of the One Piece games seem to really want to like give everybody really realistic textures for some reason, and it just it it looks wrong. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it looks fine, other times it just doesn't work. It's yeah, it's very certain, odd about the, depending on the angle, really of the characters. The other thing yeah. that uh, really kind of it feels weirdly stiff <laughs> like when you're yeah, stiff, you're stiff and was slow the exact word i was going to use yeah like luffy is not fast he's not as agile as you'd think as you're exploring around things with him yeah and i think the thing that sort of like really kind of took me out of it was that so you can you can use luffy's abilities to like kind of like stretch and grab to a point uh, just to sort of like move yourself over and then like once he grabs it and starts falling like he just loses all of momentum and there's just, like, the whole game is full of little things like that, where there's just kind of, like, this awkward start and stop. Yeah, it's to, not as all of your smooth. Because, you know, Luffy's not always rubbery. He's not always loose. But it loses that sort of momentum to him, I guess. It's it's yeah. It doesn't have, like, the snapback that you get from the anime or yeah. what, what have you. It's, I don't know, there's a little extra element that isn't quite represented there. Yeah, it definitely put my expectations back, uh, back on planet Earth. Where I'm like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. this is a this is a sort of like double A budget anime game, <laughs> and it, yeah. it it has moments where it is sort of like reaching kind of at the ceiling of what that can be, but it is mm -hmm. it is still very much that. I mean, the but, opening you know, cutscene where it, they it arrive on the island is kind of impressive. It does a good job of showing off each of the characters, and the the again the, the guy whose name I can't remember, but like. I, I was mostly whelmed by all of like the cutscenes, but when he's introduced, like for some reason, like that part is really cool. <laughs> it's like we got an OC here; we need to show him off. Yeah, exactly. I was like, why was this sort of like the coolest part of the demo? <laughs> was him showing up? Yeah. Although I will say, I, I'm very curious where this takes place because they did show. I forget the they showed showed the four old men that we recently came across. Yeah, and I'm like, wait. What? <laughs> Excuse me. I, I like I said, I'm finding colds. So I'm losing my voice a bit. Uh, I guess I or just get scratchy. So I have my water here. <laughs> I did see from where uh, from one of the reviewers uh, mentioned on Twitter, like the the, the game takes it, it ends slightly after where you are or where where you dropped off, Derek. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Like, is, like you you are one arc away from beginning. Oh, if I had just game. finished my arc, I would have been fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically. It's like, oh, he's right there. Oh, man. <laughs> so, it's kind of a weird cutoff point for, like, God, that was, like, seven, like, six or seven years ago <laughs> is, is where they cut it off. I would have thought they would have gone, like, one or two more. Like, honestly, if I had to guess, I would have guessed they would have stopped right before Wano. Yeah, that it, seems like a natural uh, end point. Yeah. We're sort of just, like, one, maybe one and a half steps behind that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That's very odd. So I, it, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, we'll, we'll have to see how things go. If we want to cover this game on the podcast fully, like whenever we reach that point. Yeah, I'll, it's something I'll keep in mind. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm based off of the demo. I'm kind of like going to wait for a price drop. I should wait for a price drop, but like, I'm not really playing anything else right now. Or mm. I'm not like, like I could fit it into my schedule, but I'm just kind of like, I don't feel that compelled to, to buy it at full price yeah so just kind of like ah, yeah so we'll see <laughs> i might i might randomly show up in, in, in like six months and be like hey i beat one piece honest <laughs> fair enough like i i it's i don't think it's a train wreck but i also don't think it's you know it, <clears throat> it's about where we thought it was gonna fall in terms yeah, of pretty much yeah how good it is and, and like i still think just off of my personal preference like this is 
this is the probably the one that is the most likely to stick with me. Uh, because I, I'm not crazy about the Warriors games and just Warriors games in general. Like, they're, they're fine. Uh, people, you know, they say they're some of the best One Piece games. But, like, at the end of the day, it's it's still a Buso game. So I'm like, ah, yeah. And, <laughs> and then uh, World Seeker, that was, like, three or four years ago, was sort of, like, their take on, like, a like an almost open world kind of action game. Oh, okay. That was also a bit a bit on the rough side. Uh, so, like, even... even even though it's incredibly average, like it's still a turn-based RPG. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's something a little I might, different. So. Yeah, I might. I'm if if there's a One Piece game I'm going to enjoy, I think Odyssey is the one that I have the highest chance of enjoying. <laughs> true enough. True enough. I mean, maybe we'll, we'll cover see, it. Maybe we'll, we won't. <laughs> Hard to say. But I did have yeah. to. I had to laugh at how much of, of how many references there were to our current arc. <laughs> Yeah, surprisingly. I was like, oh. There's a lot <laughs> of talking like, about stuff that we just passed. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. It's like, it's a knockup stream. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, yeah. And then it's a, a lot of talk talking about, about Jaya, Jaya and, and, and Sky P. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, yeah, oh, yeah. This is fortuitous. <laughs> Who knew? Just a bit. Just a bit. Well, let's actually get to Jaya. Uh, not Jaya, but how about Sky <laughs> here? <laughs> yeah. With chapter 241. Heaven's Judgment, and uh, yeah, just getting right into it. Get the, the shocking reveal from from Luffy, uh, like reacting to that reveal again. Uh, Kami in a place nobody's allowed to go, and Connors is like, "Yes, this is the Godland and the realm of the omnipotent Kami and Neru." And he's immediately like, "A place I can't go, huh?" <laughs> and you mm. just you, you see the gears turning in his head, and it's like everyone. Yeah, you just see yeah Zoro and uh, Sanji and Usopp, and it's like he's gonna go there. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. Huh. You, you tell Luffy he can't go somewhere, he's gonna go. Yeah, <laughs> that's just that's just gonna be what it is. Oh, one last thing: the character. It's basically we're in movie territory when it comes to Odyssey, where the characters are bit down to their base elements and not just this whole extra thing with them, where it's like. I, I don't know. It feels like there's not as many quite layers when it comes to an adventure as we get with the characters in the, in the manga, if you if you get me. Yeah, no, I that, that actually something that kind of bugs me a lot, mm-hmm. uh, particularly for how slow paced the, the game was. Where it's just like everybody's kind of been boiled down to their stereotype. And I'm just like, yeah, OK, yeah. yeah. All right. We're doing this again. <laughs> it's like almost like just give it a little bit more. We have Luffy there. Uh, just yeah. Oh, well, anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But I also like how Luffy's like, hey, gods are kind, right? So he'll forgive us if we go. <laughs> he's like, no, they probably destroy you. Well, I, I love that. He, yeah, he's like, eh, it doesn't matter. And then <laughs> it's just, you know, the chopper thinking. It's because he's, he's going to go there no matter what. He's like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it's also, I, I wasn't sure which way the manga was going to go because I know I've seen Anel and Aneru for our yeah. Kami here. And I yeah. think most commonly it's Aneru. Yeah, right. yeah. Most commonly, uh, I I tend to prefer it, but I don't I don't really care either way. Yeah, it's it's not much of a big deal. Yeah, he's like, all right, let's, well, let's go find Nami after we eat. <laughs> I can eat this first. <laughs> and as they're preparing it, Pagaya says, "Oh, hey, I could take a look at your um, old waiver and perhaps fix it since I fix it since I am a uh, engineer. That's handy." Yeah. But back with Nami, she's just like, oh. marveling at these trees where she can't even see the tops, and all of a sudden now, she starts. This scene is really interesting. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot to chew on here. <laughs> oh yeah, there is. She's just like hearing voices, and all of a sudden, our masked bull man with the rocket launcher shows up behind her, which is, you know, not great. Then it changes again to this guy running through the woods, screaming out for help as a guy whistles for something he shows panicked and a giant dog shows up to eat him everything in this forest is massive yeah and then all of a sudden a guy flying on a bird comes down and kicks the dog away from him yeah i was like what is happening here (laughs) yeah it seems like they're all they're all kind of like kind of all working on their own like whoever these characters are yeah they're they're fighting against each other in order to attack this one dude and yeah. Including this really fat man. That's I, yeah. that design. It looks so familiar to some. I, actually, you know what? I, I know what it is. He kind of looks like the the guys from Clockwork Orange. Oh my god! <laughs> I see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the bowler hats I, I and the white yep. whatever. I've never watched the movie, but yeah, it's just like that design is so there. Yeah, yeah, this this big guy just drops in through, and they're all the three of them are competing. When all of a sudden, the guy on with the rocket launcher shoots it all of them and like yours yeah, shoots like, it all of them 
this just so so many different characters and uh, so many different like players with their own objective are all trying to I don't know. This this is this stuff is what had me the most interested where I'm just like what in the world? <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'll be honest, that this is some of my favorite stuff in Skype is when everybody has their own interest and they're just work, like fighting against each other, like everybody yeah. against everybody else. I love it. Yeah, it's a battle royale. Uh, and Nami's just sitting there confused, like what is going on? And the, the guy, the, the, pi- the, the this random person in the forest is just like, hey, help me. I missed the ship. Get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever on whatever you want she's like this it might sink this is only one main craft i can't really help you and all of a sudden we see this light surrounding him we get the mention of gorilla military gorilla not a you know yeah, animal yeah not the monkey kind yeah and all of a sudden just kaboom massive pillar of light splitting we'll see this a tree. again later in the episode but like that sort of like that panel before it like the light strikes and you just have like the uh, all you see is like the characters kind of in shadow, just overwhelmed by the light. Like it's a really cool effect. Yeah, it just, looks just the way that though it is plays with like shadow and contrast. It's it, sort of like it really a, does show. Like it, it looks like just a pillar of like no God is smiting you now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's able to sell it really well. Oh yeah, uh, just just with black and white. This guy in the mask just says, "Oh, it's a Nehru. How dare he do that to?" The Vars, which, you know, of course, is probably set up for things later. But as far as right now, yeah. we don't know what he's really talking about. And they're, they're rushing for a water dial to put out this fire that's, that's that's been caused. I think I think it's the guys that were hunting them down. And, yeah, they're just sort of discussing it with each other. It's like, ah, he's talking to someone. It was a gorilla, but he ran away. He was begging for his life. So it really does seem like they're working for it. And you get the information that... They've heard from old lady Amazon that there was a ship with seven blue sea people aboard. Illegal uh, trespassers. And this is where Nami found, find, uh, finds out they've been sold out. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait, that's our punishment for not paying the, the money? And they hunt down people for that? Yeah, we get, we gotta go. Uh, I love yeah. the aftermath. We saw this massive tree, and there's nothing left of it. And even yeah, a chunk of the land is gone. That's how powerful that attack was. Yeah, oh my goodness. The Again, just the scale of this whole thing, and just even the guys um, who were attacking the other guy, like they're tiny mm. into the background in comparison to just like this big bisected tree by God's wrath. Right. It's so it's awesome. impressive. Like it's, it's it draws you in so quickly, and then you get it's all right. It's time for silliness. <laughs> we, yes, <laughs> yes. As we get to Lovely Street on Angel Island, <laughs> where these guys known as the White Rays, led by Captain McKinley, are announcing that they are conducting a search for the se- the illegal entrance, and <laughs> it's they're just and the, the they, hands they behind do the the Hesso salute. The Hesso salute. I that's so I don't know weird. what the hand thing is about. <laughs> My guess is it kind of shows the palms that are covered by their head, their hats. I guess. I, I guess. I don't. I don't know. I do like his, his like kind of uh, cloud patterned uh, like army pants. Yeah, it, it's it's honestly <laughs> a pretty decent design. Yeah. Nami takes off. Is like okay. I gotta go tell the others, and they're back at the beach, and the guy is taking a look at the old waiver. Is like, well, I might be able to take a look. I'll have to take it apart. And then all of a sudden, Luffy's like, who are those guys? And that's the end of the chapter, which I think we know oh, who those guys are. But yep. what a wild chapter. Yeah, there's a, there's a, already there's a lot happening. It is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, let's not waste any time, though, and get right into 242 Class 2 Criminals. I had the biggest smile on my face on this cover page. <laughs> yeah. It's just, we get the, yay, Marines! <laughs> Captured with the shotgun pistol there. I am King Wap- I King Wapple am captured and the the face good. is good and it just like menace to society. Yes, it's it's I don't know how I guess it's sea prism stone that they're using but you know that's Yeah, probably. Good. <laughs> All right, book them. I love that the the tin can and the angry people behind it. It's like, yes, this <laughs> this man deserves all the punishment. So It just it just makes it just does your heart good, you know? It, re- it really does. And then here's another reason the the white braids are just the weirdest as they're like I oh God, I I forgot I love these guys so much. <laughs> they just shuffle like army crawling along the beach to get up to them and Luffy's just like what the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you're just like just that that panel of just complete white space Luffy just 
in complete shock and awe <laughs> as they're just army crawling like right in front of them there's no uh no sort of camouflage or they're not like hiding or anything they're yeah. just in complete plain sight it's such a good gag <laughs> it's, it's super obvious especially because they're all like you look at them they're all real gruff men but they're acting yeah. so completely silly and then they just stand up and like, hey, so. <laughs> and again, it works in that because like Luffy's just like, what are you saying? And then we get the, but you know what it actually means is like, yeah, that makes sense. I need to still be reacting yeah, like this. Just a, yeah, the reaction just makes complete sense. <laughs> I, I love this. It's like, uh, why are they crawling? I don't know. Maybe they're freaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Chopper. That's what freaks look like. Yeah. <laughs> this poor, impressionable child. Chopper's learning. But yeah, he's like the seven trespassers and the guy is like immediately like, wait, trespassers, what? Amazon sent us this picture from the um the, the Heaven's Gate, this with the vision dial. They're the they're the criminals. It's like, wait, they can't be criminals. They seem they seem so nice. And Robin's like, Oh right, we didn't actually pay that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh yeah, uh, I, I definitely I, I love the the escalation of this gag here, where you know like uh, trespassing is only a class eleven offense, and then it just like it's just gonna keep escalating and escalating. Yeah, uh, the the kinds of uh, crimes that they get uh, sort of accused of. Mm -hmm. He's like, all right, well, if you pay the fine, you can become legal tourist right now. Okay, well, why didn't you say so? What exactly is the punishment? It's simple: just pay ten times the entrance fee. That would be <laughs> ten billion extols each, or seventy billion extols for all seven of you. So uh, pay up and you will wipe your record clean. clean. And it's like, uh, how much is that in berries? And we finally get the exchange rate. There yes. are 10,000 <laughs> X tolls to one berry. So that's 7 million berries. Which, like, it feels, you're like, oh, okay, that's not that much, you know. But then you're like, oh, right. <laughs> that's still, still 7 million. Yeah, that's it's still a lot of money. And it's like, nope. And it would have been, if it not for the fine, it would have been 700,000 berries. Yes. Which it definitely seems like a little bit better, but. Mm, no. This is all feels like to tourism gone horribly wrong. Right. It's like, man, get, this is as bad as Disney World. Jeez. Hey, got him. <laughs> And he's like, all right, well, we should just ignore this guy because we can't really pay it. we got to get to Nami. And, uh, hey, Nami comes back. It's like, yeah. oh, hey, don't do anything rash, guys. we gotta, you got to be in good behavior. This is when we get the ripe razor. They serve the Kami's va vassals. So if you resist, you're only going to make things work. And <laughs> here's the continuation of your joke. This waiver is damaged. There's a law against Blue Sea people damaging Sky Island pro property. That's a Class 10 offense. <laughs> it's like, no, no, that belongs to them. So... It's like, that's a bit suspicious. Blue people see people don't have waivers. And this property is stolen from Skyline. That's a class nine offense. It's just, it's like, oh my just God. like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy finally calls out. It's like, Luffy, don't argue with them. The Usopp says, like, you don't argue with them, but Nami, they're saying we should pay the 70 million berries for trespassing. <laughs> I love I love the build up to this. I too. know. It's like, oh, my gosh, what's gone in, gotten into her? It's like, oh, thank goodness. She must have been scared because she's like, oh, thank goodness. We can get, get off with just a fine. 70 million berries is. And she just rams into McKinley, running him over, just saying, are you crazy? We had a whole page build up, like, like two page build up. Please don't do anything rash. <laughs> <laughs> and then first thing, Nami just just. Just right in the face with the waiver. <laughs> as soon as she hears how much it costs. Oh, that's so good. It's like, oh no, the outrageous found made me lose it. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, hey, let's run. Let's get out of here. It was just an accident. It's like, <laughs> and of course, McKinley gets up and is like, hey, you verbally abused us. That attack was clearly a case of obstructing government official from performing his duties. You're up to a class five criminal offense. He's got a point on that one. I'm kind of on his side. <laughs> yeah, that's that one. That's finally the one that actually I mean, makes it sense. Kevin. Yeah. And he declares them exiled to the clouds. And he's like, oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> from Luffy. It's like, no. <laughs> exiled. <laughs> no, no, that's not good. It's, uh, you're dropped, ship it all onto an island cloud with no way to escape, and then you'll, there you'll stay until you're nothing but bones. It's a death sentence. And Rom was like, oh, that explains the ship that fell from the sky. <laughs> so, so, maybe so nonchalantly, exiled. like, uh, neat. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, that's, that's all that is. And they're just like, all right, arrest them. They get these interesting looking bows. Yeah, they're like, uh, I'll, I'll wait. No, I mean, and they, I mean, honestly, with them being shells, they're, they might be dials the way they send. Yeah, out that's the what I, that's what I was thinking, and then I, I saw them in action, and I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, they're probably dials. Yeah, but they're officially sense. called milky arrows, and of course, Zoro and Sanji are preparing to fight. Luffy do dodges them and says, "All right, now we get to the ship. <laughs> He's getting ready to fight." And then we see what's cool. They're not really attacking with the arrows. 
they allow they shoot out the clouds that allow them to skate on them We're using the same sort yeah, of technique. Which that is a really cool was. idea. That's oh, it's so good. Yeah, and just I love the way that like uh, on the top panel of that page, you can kind of like they're kind of the way that Oda uses the curves of the clouds to kind of guide your eye across the panel. Mm-hmm. And it just it, it's able to really kind of sell the effect that they are just like they are gliding kind of. It feels very three dimensional, and you know, like Luffy's kind of like upside down and stuff. Right, it's it's neat, very f- fast moving, and yeah. uh, that's when we get re- the reveal of uh, him having, of course, uh, devil fruit, and it's time for the gum gum fireworks, and just yeah. knocks out everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've uh, officially uh, assaulted a government official. <laughs> yep, and at that point, they're just like, uh, how, how, I mean, how much money do we have? Oh, um, 50,000 berries. That's it. Oops. Yikes. <laughs> We're in bad shape. It's like, why are we so poor? And uh, Luffy, uh, Luffy says, uh, it's like, as your captain, I have to say this. You guys spend too much money. And it's like, most of it went to feed you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. I, I imagine that must be sort of a... a- a, a constant pain for everybody else. It's just like, we're always broke because we're spending too much money on Luffy. I also get the uh, this interesting line from Konus. is like, I thought Blue, Blue Sea people were supposed to become incapacitated up here. That's just how well yeah. these guys adapt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, uh, after that first encounter, they were like, oh yeah, all right, I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all we needed. But McKinley's still talking. He's like, hey, you should have surrendered quietly. We're the friendliest law officers you're fa- you'll find in the Godland. They won't be so gentle with you. So now you're <laughs> class two criminals. Make all the fuss you want, but the commies vassals in the upper yard will de- deal with you. And, hesso. Uh, yeah, hesso. <laughs> <laughs> So he's like, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the cops on you. Exactly. I'm. I'm telling my boss. <laughs> there is this little extra. It's called the bad stuff corner, where Oda's re- realizing with stuff getting translated. It's like, oh, they're even translating the SBS. And, yeah, and he's uh, like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, oh no. It's like our silly banter has crossed the oceans. The children of the world must be saying, the Japanese are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you were that self conscious, you shouldn't have done it in the first place. Yeah, and it's like, oh, I have to. They have to actually translate my references now. So, crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a f- sort of fun realization. Yeah, but like, oh, the, the the sort of pitfalls of becoming international, right? And you know what? Chapter two hundred forty three trial. Where this is what I'd rather see. How is the Drum Kingdom doing? And we see, yeah. We see King Dalton of the Cherry Blossom Kingdom. Good on you, Dalton. You've become You'll love king. to see it. Ah, it's good. And we still got the, the Cherry Blossoms. It's it's good stuff. Yeah. And the other good thing Much is, like, you see, see this the... Than right. You see the castle up top, and he's still... He's just, like, he's the king digging out the snow with everybody. That's good. That's a happy ending, if I've ever seen one. Right. But we get we get back into it, and uh, Nami finally explains to everybody. He's like, okay... Remember the old lady? We became. You said you may pass, and we did. We became trespassers. It's uh, not exactly fair, but Usopp does correctly point out. It's like, well, then if she had told us, we couldn't have. We couldn't pass, and we just would have forced our way in anyway. So. That's there. There was no stopping Luffy. No, <laughs> let's no. be real. <laughs> I love how the other the guy and Konus are just like, yeah, you're class two criminals. There's no way we can help you, so we're just going to stand <laughs> all the way over leave. here. Leave, bye. And Luffy's just immediately like, ah, eh, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> and Luffy's uh, he's more concerned about the fact that like hey why'd you come back anyway we were just about to go on an adventure <laughs> rescuing you <laughs> yeah and so he's uh, uh, he's already causing trouble <laughs> <laughs> and I love this panel where she's just constantly whacking Luffy in the forehead just saying did you hear what I said there are scary guys on the island if you, you wouldn't want to go there I don't know if they're gods or what but they definitely have godlike power so I'm never going back there again alright fine I'll go without you <laughs> it's like yeah, no they're yeah, gonna yeah, come Luffy's after me are. <laughs> uh, yeah and she's you know like we got to get out of here he's like are you mean leave <laughs> it's like <laughs> we can't they can't leave what's more important your life or adventure and she immediately says my life and after that money <laughs> <laughs> i love this the, the little background gag on the next page of sasanji like oh do i come after that and she's just like shut up <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's really good she just smacks him away and they're like all oh, right like they finally realized like all oh, right we figured out how to actually get to skypea but how do we get back and Cardus is like, can we ever go home? Will we ever see the Blue Sea again? He's like, well, it's perilous, but there is a way down. You have to go down one level and sail to the far east of the White Sea to a place known as Cloud's End. 
But I wouldn't try advise you to try to escape that way. You'd have to cross a vast sea in the sky. I wonder if this comes up again. I can't uh, remember. I, yeah, I genuinely do not remember. But like, I feel like would they explain this if like this? Because I don't remember how they leave. <laughs> I don't either. I'll be honest. Yeah. So. so so I'm like, is this was this it? Like like is this how uh, is this gonna come back by the end? I'm just like <laughs> all right. I uh, other, like otherwise I don't know why explaining this other than just than just like you can't casually leave so you might as well stay <laughs> and they're just like well i guess we'll sell there now and luffy's like well let's get the food and sanji get the bento boxes and meanwhile uh, usopp wants some sh- uh, spare parts to repair the ship so the three of them head back to the house while the others get ready on the ship nami's still freaking out it's like he seriously is going to get us killed those guys are dangerous and there's always like luffy doesn't care so and i don't either <laughs> so whatever <laughs> he's along for the ride man uh-huh i also just a fun little like bonding moment between robin and and chopper where he climbs up on the side of the ship he's like oh it's just gonna drop the ladder <laughs> yeah you see him kind of like kind of struggling a bit because he, he transforms into like his human mode and then transform like, like and then grabs onto the ship and then transforms back into like his tiny mode mm-hmm. uh it's sort of a lot of effort <laughs> and robin's like i was just gonna drop the ladder for you man <laughs> yeah it's like eh, all right Eventually, Nami's like, uh, Robin, maybe you and, I, you and I together could beat Luffy up. Impossible. <laughs> like, how, even Robin knows that she can't beat she, Luffy. Poor Nami is just like trying every trick in the book to get out of here. And uh, of course, we got McKinley here. It's like, <laughs> bad people, fools, the communist vassals will crush you. They live to punish fools who enter the sacred land. I like that he's actually like he's in the grass this time. <laughs> yeah, he actually is kind of hidden. Yeah. But uh, he's like, it's, uh, again, more... Not so great things, but we're back in the house and the guy is impressed. He's like, oh, are you the ship's carpenter? He's like, no, no, I'm the sh- sharpshooter. We don't have a carpenter yet, but those guys depend on me for everything. <laughs> of course, <laughs> he's, going uh, over. He's gassing himself up. Oh, yeah, gassing himself up and Pagaya immediately leaves. <laughs> like, he's talking yeah, himself he's, up the back. He's like, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, I don't, don't, it doesn't matter. He's just complimenting San- Sanji on the arrangement of his food. And, of course, Sanji makes a special lunch for Pocanus. And she's like, oh, it's so beautiful. And... Luffy immediately ruins it. Eh, it's the same once it's in the belly. <laughs> well, call, calls him an uncouth rube. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Usopp then notices that there's a ruckus on the ship. And Luffy's like, what, a party? And like, no. Uh, <laughs> and Sanji goes to look out and sees Nami. He's like, why'd she put on a t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Usopp smacks him. Which I did forget that she puts on a t-shirt that she wasn't in that uh, that bikini top the entire time like all right I, yeah i thought she was honestly i, I so did I, too uh, i was like all right good on you oda <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Not- maybe, may, maybe that was an anime change but i feel like they wouldn't want to um miss out on the gag of, of sanji you know, like why'd she put out a shirt yeah i feel so, like my I, maybe my, my memories are betraying me. she I, might lose I, it again at some point you know how yeah, it goes I, I, yeah <laughs> <laughs> more importantly the ship is sailing backwards well more specifically being carried backwards by the special lobster uh, express which has god written on it which (laughs) yeah as if it wasn't obvious enough just just god or uh, just a crab with a lobster with god written on his forehead it's always like hey i'll stay with the ship jump overboard i'll i'll be fine and robin's like no i don't think we can at this point because there's gigantic sky fish right over there yikes so uh they're gonna get us whether we uh stay or not it's like, nope, it's already begun. Heaven's punishment. Instead of coming after us, they're bringing us to them. And Nami's like, oh, God, we're going to the Forbidden Island. And what a great way to split up the party. I completely forgot this is how it happened. Yeah. Like, I, I remember them getting split up. And, and that's sort of what, like, this whole episode of the podcast is. It's kind of like, I remember a point A and point B. But again, like, how we got... Uh, how it's like, well, now it's uh, basically up to Luffy, Sanji, and um, and Usopp to yeah. go after them. Which, again, I love all the different ways they split up the party. Yeah, yeah, it definitely, it really is, the the, the dynamic is constantly changing. Oda knows how to work with this. <laughs> you know, it's it's not always just like, let's just follow uh, Luffy, because all, all the most interesting stuff happens to Luffy. Sort of idea that some shonen get into. They're like, all right, where'd they go? Well, they're headed to the northeast of the upper yard, to the sacrificial altar. And Sanji's immediately like, uh, sacrifice to the sacrificing yeah, Nami. That sounds ominous. Robin, what? <laughs> nope. 
according to Pagaya, uh, th- uh, all part of he- it's all part of heaven's punishment. So criminals will either become a sacrificial o- offerings or they undergo a challenge. Oh well, yeah, they're basically hostages right yeah, now. Yeah, so. they're basically hostages. <laughs> uh, but but I definitely I like the way that he sort of flips this around. He's like the ones who are really being punished right now are you three, referring to Luffy, Sanji, and Usopp. Mm-hmm. And fortunately, Usopp still has the map that to, to show Pagaya, and he can show them the way. It's like, well, it's. It's really old, but here's how you actually get to it. It's like, oh, sweet, a map <laughs> to actually uh, see all that. Yeah, I like the pa- like this page where they basically kind of break down how they like where they have to go and how they kind of just can't go straight to it. Yeah, it's especially impressive because you see how close Angel Island is to this island and how just much more massive the island is. The up the up yard yep. is compared to everything yep. else, and like they're within the island itself. But they got to follow the Milky Road, and of course, that's that's the fun part. Is like there's all it's very different. You got to take the long way. <laughs> exactly. It's like oh, we can't uh, sail over the coast to the nearest altar. It's like no, it can't be reached by foot, even from the nearby coast. So apparently, the Cloud River are several hundred Milky Roads in all. The only way to get to the altar is to follow follow the Milky Road. So no matter where we land, or we'll run into the river, and it's teeming with man-eating fish. So it's like all right, there's our challenge. Yeah, of course. Yep. <laughs> Luffy's just immediately like, ah, cool, we just have to clobber them and get the guys that Nami told us about, right? And we get to go to the island. I'm happy. Yeah, he's got an excuse to go now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, don't let down your guard. The Kami's vassals are really strong. And above them is the Kami and Nehru. And we get our first little indication of what he might look like, but it's still like so in shadow. It's like not even crocodile yeah. levels it's, where it's like, uh, we go nothing about this. We're going to go take on God. Yeah. Oh, man, this is an RPG. Fight and, def- fight and overthrow God. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's the chapter. And it's it's kind of funny to see Oda talking about the specifically the American version and how there was an yeah. American Shonen Jump with a bunch of others. God, it's 2002. <laughs> man, I remember that. I was in high school reading it and I was even late to the party, but I saw it. I was like, oh, this is cool getting all these bits, bits of comics because they gave you like two or three chapters for each one. Yeah. But only seven different, like, different ones. That's how I got introduced to some of the manga versions of Yu-Gi-Oh! And yeah. they, they brought over, what was it? The, the, the Go manga, which is actually surprisingly oh, interesting. Oh, H- Hikaru no Go? Hikaru no Go. No Go, yeah. Yeah, that uh, that, that old uh, American Shonen Jump lineup. That's I, I was uh, especially a latecomer uh, to, to the American Shonen Jump. But it, it's weird in a way that, that basically that led me to where I am today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny how that goes, isn't it? So yeah, we're working with some of the same people who uh, were uh, working on the magazine all the way back then. That's crazy. You should sh- <laughs> you should show that to them as we be like, fl- uh, remember fl- this <laughs> flash with the ba- ba- yeah flashback. <laughs> yeah, your age. <laughs> All right, well, chapter 244, SOS, and dang it, Wobbles escaped. Oh, that little rascal. My great tearful escape, which, boy, these are really incompetent Marines. I, I hope he gets caught again. I do, too. It, it feels, this one feels so, maybe it's because the um we had, like, the cut to Dalton and now the cut back. It feels kind of all over the place. It's Yeah, it's extremely story. scattershot. We, we've gone from yeah. gags to him eating a whole town to him getting arrested to him getting it to escaping maybe it's just because i don't like wapple but i'm like what's the point i was about to say the exact same thing it's like i might be more critical of this because i hate wapple but uh who knows eh, we'll see we'll see as it continues but uh it's time for the three to actually go to lovely street the busiest street on angel island and man what a cool setting it's a cool setting i love the world building in this chapter just the, the way that they're all kind of going all over the place yeah it's, uh, it's, it's so fun it's really neat. You get all these different people and you get the reactions where it's they know that they're outlaws and it's just like <laughs> Sanji more bummed that like all oh, the angel women are avoiding me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shouldn't, shouldn't have become a criminal. Mm-hmm. And Luffy don't doesn't even care. He's just like, hey, yeah, he's poking just, around. It's just cool. Uh, you see that the guy uh, kind of in, in the, the bottom panel, you see the guy at the shop just kind of freaked out as Luffy's poking his stuff <laughs> yeah and I, I like this implicit trust in 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 zoro he's like yeah zoro's with him it's fine yeah <laughs> well sanji doesn't seem uh too pleased about that <laughs> he's like you trust that guy to protect him <laughs> yes <laughs> and then they've I, I don't know what this has to do with anything but they see some sort of giant statue called a vars a yeah an object of admiration i don't know what this is about me neither yeah uh 
I, I obviously it's foreshadowing something, but I just yeah, uh, I don't remember how this all kind of comes together. Yeah, I I couldn't tell you. So they just sort of notice it. It's definitely something that blue sea people don't understand. Uh, they worship her for some reason, but they leave, and we see McKinley still doing his whole little. Yeah, he's doing his best solid snake impression. <laughs> Following them around, but they they get to the boat landing and they see all kinds of cool gondolas they can uh, use and they can rent, and it's like oh it's self propelled like a waiver. It's like no no your ship's over here, and, and Luffy's just like yay cool gondola j- journey. Yep. And they see it the Kara Sumaru and it's just a yep. a, a crow. <laughs> yeah. Kara Su means crow and uh, M- Maru means or it, it's a very common suffix for like uh, boats and ships and stuff and other things. But oh, okay. it, it makes sense in the context of it being a boat that it okay, would have yeah. the suffix Maru. So. That makes sense. But I mean, it's it's kind of cute. Yeah, it's got a cute little face. I love it. <laughs> yeah. She's like, hey, I used it all the time before I learned to ride a waiver. So it's maybe not as fast, but it's got two wind dials. So enjoy it. And Luffy's like, I like the other one better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, it, it, she's that's so adorable where she's just like, oh, you don't like it? I, I was like, I don't have the money to rent the, that one for you. <laughs> <laughs> so Sanji's immediately upset. He's like, you scum. Not having it. Apologize. Yeah. Don't him make her face. sad. <laughs> <laughs> and she just says, all right, the way it's out is through gate two. You'll come out into the Great Milky Road, which will take you to the upper yard. Then just keep to the road. And that's when Luffy, strangely observant here, is like, ever since we left your house, you've been shaking. Why is that? Oh, this she, is such a great reveal. I oh, was actually really surprised by this. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I did I, not I, remember this at all. <laughs> forgot all about it. And it's like, yeah, it's like like you're scared of something. It's like, and Sanji's like, "Oh, you're worried about us? That's so sweet." It's like, no, no. It's like Usopp's like, it's like, no, that's not it. Your your dad, are you and your dad gonna be okay? The people in this town are obviously avoiding us, but you're lending us your boat and helping us. Won't you get in trouble? And Luffy's like, "Hey, if you you were scared, you should have said something." And she starts struggling with saying something, and everybody's like, "Oh, don't, don't do that! Say it. Don't say yeah, it! Don't, don't do keep it. your mouth shut! Don't you don't you do that?" She's finally says. Don't you think it's strange that I tell you how to get to the challenge and even lend you a boat? It's almost as I'm leading you to your doom. And they start, other people start calling. I was like, stop. <laughs> Are you insane? Yeah. And everybody, they start looking around. It's like, something's up here. And we got Pagaya threatening and uh, fretting and just upset. And she finally says, run away because I was the one who summoned the Lobster Express. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And everybody's like, you fool. And she's like, if a citizen of Skypea knows that someone is a criminal and doesn't lead him to the punishment site, that citizen is killed. And everybody's like, don't say that. Grab her. Get her away. Stop, shut her up. And she just asked for forgiveness. They're like, this place is insane. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like one of those things where I love this reaction from even Usopp. Yes. You had no choice. So why did you just tell us that? (laughs) Now you're in trouble, you idiot. Even they're like, uh, no, speaking of trouble, (laughs) right? Everybody's like, yeah, it's too late for him to get those wonderful shadows again. It's just like God, because because you've already seen it before, and you're seeing it again, and you're just like, oh, here we go. (laughs) Yeah, the power is not even limited to just the upper yard; it reaches that, and it just devastates that section of Lovely Street. Like you see the houses shifting. Yeah, oh, it's uh, it's it's horrifying, but I love it. <laughs> right. I, I love that moment. It's like, we can handle this. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have confidence in us. I, I think what I really love about this bit with Conus is that, like, this whole time, like, like you as the reader, you're watching, you know, Luffy and friends, and you're just like, yeah, we're just going to go save everybody else. Like, it's completely normal. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and meanwhile, Conus is over here like, oh, God, I'm sending these people to their death and is just having, you know, like a complete breakdown over it. Whereas it's uh, completely natural for Luffy. and just like, all right, we're going to go. <laughs> yeah. And, and the readers at this point, we've seen them go through so much. It's like, yeah, it makes sense. They're going to go do this and rescue their friends. And have, but to a normal person in this world, it's like... Oh, these people have no idea what they're doing. They're in so yeah. much trouble. I, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, they're exactly. so nice. They're, they give me, they gave me this nice bento box. They're so kind to me, and I'm sending them to their deaths. What is wrong with me? It is kind of just like one of those cool things where you're like, oh right, this to a normal person from their perspective, like this is horribly messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, we have gone far here. The strange old man, the Sky Knight. Yeah, he didn't. They didn't. He didn't even have to use the whistle. Which no, uh, I was I actually. Who surprised. has it right now? I think Nami has it at the moment. Okay, yeah, I, I forgot. He tosses Luffy down, 
and it's like, hey, I'll take care of the girl. I'm not I'm not going to allow an area to harm her. So but now, you know, the true nature of the country and the commies power. So heed it. Uh, boy, I love this line from Luffy. that sh- again, shows that pirate nature. I don't care about this country. My friends are on the uh, that uh, commies island. So I'm going. Yep. That's it. That's all you need. There we are. And of course, Usopp's a little afraid at this point, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there they go. But time for some uh, interesting bits of potential lore here or yeah, some setup where Connus is riding with the Sky Knight and is just like, will they be all right? And it's like, well, they chose the right path. It's not your fault. And she's like, I know who you are. Everybody knows. Please come back to us, Kami. And it's like, oh, that's a good reveal. I have no idea what that's about. <laughs> really? Oh, I yeah. I don't. I don't remember anything about the sky. I <laughs> vaguely remember this. I don't remember how yeah. he, how it ended up in that situation. But I remember that he he yeah was that yeah yeah. There, there's some backstory here that I I can't wait to dive into. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, oh I, boy. I, I think that's another reason I like Sky Pia so much. There's just that each chapter gives you that little bit of extra piece of the puzzle. Yeah, to it. yeah. There's a lot. Oh, God. Every reveal is just addicting. <laughs> like, I must know more. And it's so different from anything we've had up to this point because, like, we were kind of learning about that with, um, I, I guess the best example, the closest to this, I would say, would be Little Garden, where you land on yeah. the island. There's all this crazy stuff. You don't really know about it. And then you eventually meet the giants and learn how it's all about. But, it's, but this is so much bigger in scale than that, because up to this point, every other place we've landed on, there's typically a tour guide that tells you yeah, everything you need to know. I feel like it would be easy to fall under the assumption that Conus would play the role that Vivi played in Alabasta. Mm-hmm. But like, that's not what this is. It's no. sort of like we're already kind of everything separated, like, every, you know, all hell's broken loose. <laughs> um, and uh, they're on their own, basically. Like, all right, you know, off you go. <laughs> yeah. Here's the little hints at the, the, that this this Aneru, the, the, the vassals, how strong they seem to be, how strong Aneru seems to be with those attacks. And even just like what's happened to this 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 country, I guess they put it, that people are this afraid of Kami. So, yeah, it's it's. Again, who would have finding a way to have a different flavor to these arcs? Yeah. Oh, man. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the ride so far. Absolutely. Totally agreed. But time for something that just warms my heart. Chapter 245, Adventure on Kami's Island, where we see Wapple, a king no more. And this, this yeah. is... Yeah! He's destitute in the garbage. <laughs> a kid is throwing a rock at him. A, a dog is peeing on him. <laughs> It's just like this. This is deserve. good. This That's is good. Yeah, yeah. This is what he. Does. I I have no sympathy here. I think it's no nope. might supposed to garner sympathy. Nothing. No. 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 <laughs> yeah. If it isn't the consequences of your own actions. Yes. Finally. I don't know how long this one is, but I I I don't know what they'll do to like make it longer or I don't know. We'll see. We get to the chapter itself, and they're just sort of like, all right, well. Hopefully, Connors will be okay with the old man. And Luffy's immediately like, the boat is too slow. <laughs> yeah, th- I feel like that is exactly what his reaction would be. Mm-hmm. And they just see that the forest, like you see the wide shot. And just You know how big those trees are. It's just like, my God. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, there is a forest, but it's nothing like this. So it, it'd take a thousand years for a forest to, uh, to grow to that size. So... There's some sort of incongruity here between the map and this. Yep. Well, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. But they get to the entrance and they see these very inviting skull and spear flames, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> these torches. And then I didn't even notice it when I was first reading it, but they have all those statues that from the center of town lining it as well. Oh, yeah. It's a good catch. Yeah. It's just, it, it's like God's path. Yeah. And it looks like they're uh, like... I interpreted this scene as like sort of like the torches lighting up as they pass by. I don't know if that is what is actually happening here, but it, it sort of makes sense with the way, like just like the heavy shadowing and just all of uh, just Usopp, you know, freaking out. <laughs> yeah, I, Usopp's definitely freaking out because those that shading on him is just like, oh god, oh god, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there's something watching him above. Oh god, <laughs> and like, bird calls. Oh god, oh no, they're surrounded by shipwrecks. Oh god, it's like. We're, we're surrounded by... I love how they point out. It's like, we're surrounded by shipwrecks. Well, this is a forest. <laughs> <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, God. And then uh, you find all sorts of things in the jungle. And all of a sudden, you see this sheen. <laughs> and <laughs> You're like, oh, dear. It's like, oh, boy, speed up. Uh, let's let's row because all of a sudden this giant scythe goes down through and just starts cutting through things. Yeah, and you can kind of see it. Like I think it's cutting through the remains of the ship. Yes. If I if I see that right, yeah, we're just like oh, but yeah, and just again the scale of it all. Like it is massive compared to poor little Karasumaru. It is so much bigger to them, and then we just see all these gears, and it's like, oh god, row as fast as you can. And yeah, get out of here. <laughs> just see them weaving in between all of the uh, the, 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 the the sickles. It, it really makes this feel like a like a trial or like a or it's like an Indiana Jones movie almost. Just yeah, like a, yeah, we're going on a it's like that kind of adventure. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it definitely is, and the, the, the just like oh god, we can't quite get ahead. There's just like it's not quite working, so. Usopp, get behind me. And Luffy does the gum gum bazooka off of the clouds in order to launch like past the last of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, whew, that was uh, that was close. It's like, all right, should uh, we get off here? It's like, no, no, we got to follow the, uh, the the road. And then all of a sudden, a giant lamprey shows up. That la- <laughs> Gee. <laughs> that <Sanji laughs> He's going care. from bad to worse here. Yep. This whole chapter. So it's like, we just have to keep going forward. And that's when they come across four entrances. The Challenge of the Swamp, the Challenge of Iron, the Challenge of the String, and the Challenge of the Ball. They have to choose which one to go through. And we don't actually see which one they go through because we swap swap to our sacrifices where Sora was (laughs) trying to get through the clouds and fighting one of those fish, (laughs) the Sky Shark. I love this gag where, like, he, because he, with the Sky Shark, he, like, sinks under the clouds and then they're like, is, is he dead? <laughs> and Robin's like, if he'd been eaten, the clouds would have turned red. <laughs> just, <laughs> just so, so casually. Yeah, uh, yeah. But of course he's not dead. He just punches out the shark. It's like, Shh, well, can't uh, swim to the bank from here. So what do we do? <laughs> because they're yeah, just they're on just top of stuck. an altar. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, it's funny that like the the shot of like the the Mary just kind of on the altar with like all of the light shafts coming down. It's kind of beautiful. Yeah, in a, in a strange way, it's it's also like like they mar- they really are marooned <laughs> here. Yeah, no, they're they're stuck there. <laughs> I love how they're just commenting. It's like you knock that thing out with your bare fist. How the heck? <laughs> and uh, Robin immediately wonders, like, huh? I wonder if heaven's punishment means starving to death on this altar. <laughs> her her just like just completely warped sense of humor is, I, I, I love it <laughs> she's so deadpan about everything and that's when Zoro points out is like well the hole's too badly damaged for, this, for us to sail out of here so we'll have to make repairs here and Chopper can you handle that and he's like well we have to get into this forest this will be our base of operations uh, because Luffy will probably come, come come after us so you know what they say. If, they, if, you, if you get lost, stay where you are. And then it's like, why don't you? <laughs> why are you telling us to leave? Yeah. <laughs> well, Zoro's big plan is apparently to go have a talk with God. Yeah, I'm gonna just go talk with God. It's like, what would you say to somebody scary, so scary? Like, I don't know. It depends on his, his attitude, I, be, I guess. <laughs> and then Chopper's going to be like, I bet you're even stronger than the commies. <laughs> like, no. Oh, then Nami's going to be like, no, 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 don't do this. Like, don't you know better than anger gods? Like, sorry, I don't pray to the commies, so I don't know him anything. Such a good line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that Nami Chopper's in the impressed. background. Oh yeah, Chopper's impressed. Nami in the background is just, just like, I don't associate me with him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they see a vine that they can use, and Robin's like, "Hey, can I come with you?" It's like, "Well, as long as you don't slow me down." It's like, "Hey, this altar is about a thousand years old, old, and I tingle when I come across a historical relic like this." So who knows it's what's out there? Fun. Like, obviously completely in character for her as an archaeologist, but it's cool. That, like, this is the first thing she's been genuinely interested in. Right. It, it's really neat. And, she, yeah. you know, of course, she mentions there might be valuable artifacts or jewels out there. And that immediately per- perks up Nami. He's like, I'm coming. Yep. <laughs> I, I love she says, we're looking for history <laughs> with her with the berry signs in her eyes. <laughs> it's it's really good. And, of course, we got to have Zoro doing the Tarzan yell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I really, this is, that's. This is one thing I really appreciate the anime for. Uh, uh, it, 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 they sell the, the Tarzan yell a lot. Obviously, it's a lot easier to do in, in animation with voices. But <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I feel like th- this is similar to Little Garden when like, like you sort of just see Zoro's silliness when they're on an adventure. Kind of like when they were like when he was posing as they were all trapped in the wax. Yeah. They're, they're, they're he, like... he just has like these little moments of being a little bit silly. <laughs> He's not 
uh, completely stoic or anything like that. So it's it's, it's yeah. a good stuff. <laughs> we get more of Robin being just like macabre which is like oh it's over 150 feet if you miss you're dead <laughs> she's like don't <laughs> say that yep <laughs> and nami swings over and is about to hit but eh, robin catches her just fine oh, it's, it's great it's <laughs> oh man robin is so good <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> this whole chapter of just like uh, i'm so glad she's here <laughs> <laughs> yep so they all make it to, to the forest and they like all right we're counting on you chopper to uh take care of this ship so uh, you know we'll we'll be, we'll we'll see you soon. And Chopper's just like ah, the Nami's with Zoro and the uh, Robin, so she'll be all right. Those guys sure are brave. Well, I have things to do because they have faith, a lot of faith in me to guard the ship all by myself in this dangerous forest. Wait, oh God, I'm in more danger than they are. <laughs> just those two brain cells rubbing together, like uh, oh, oh no, <laughs> oh no, I'm by myself in this forest yep. on this ship. They left, they left Chopper alone. <laughs> they left the child on its own. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> that ain't good oh dear and that's where we end <laughs> what again like all of the stuff about uh everybody on the upper yard like all of those scenes i remember and luffy and uh usopp and sanji on the boat i remember that but i didn't like god it was like two chapters it was sort of just like we here and now we're here <laughs> yeah it, it's 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 going quick and I, I i'll be honest i can't remember which challenge they pick which path they choose yeah so. i don't remember either i have a Yes, but we'll see. Obviously, we'll see next time. And it's actually, I'm very curious what these set of chapters will be, because if we hadn't done the movies, this would have been our 50th episode, this, these next set of chapters. Yeah, you're right. So huh. what, what, what would we have ended on with our with our chapter 250? So I'm I'm more invested than I thought I would be. Like Again, I'm not one of those people who dislikes this arc or anything. Like, I've just, I, I thought it was fine when I first went through it like 10 years ago. So I'm... I'm ready to sort of see what I feel about it now. And there's just so much that I don't remember that I'm like, yeah, what is going to happen? I have uh, no idea. I, I like, I remember liking the mysteries. I liked the adventure in the forest and I don't know. I just, I, I the stuff that happens later on just really sucked me in. Yeah. God, it really feels like a, like, like a, like an, like an Indiana Jones movie or like you're playing Tomb Raider or Uncharted mm. or something. I, I will say the one thing I don't remember from this of, uh, is the vassals. So I wonder if that's our weak, our weak point. I don't remember mm. much of the vassals at all. Yeah, that is, that is one thing because I had friends who got into One Piece over the the pandemic, and I remember wh while they were reading Skypea, they're like, "Man, the vassals are not great." Mm. Uh, but I don't remember anything about them, so I we'll, yeah. we'll see how it goes. We'll see. We'll see. But with that, I believe we've said all we've wanted to say about chapters 241 to 245 of One Piece. Thank you so much for listening, and you can find more of my ramblings and stream VODs over at BitNerd Games on YouTube, or BitNerd with an underscore at the end on Twitter. And Brandon, where can everyone find you at? I'm at Brandon Bovia on Twitter, talking about anime, manga, games, and my job. Uh, and I don't think I have anything super exciting. Um, like, I, like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, a new volume of uh, Kaiju number eight came out. So I tend to try to do sort of, you know, like uh, I try to showcase my work on some of the bigger releases, uh, but I haven't done that yet. So <laughs> that might that might be up on my on my Twitter by the time you're listening to this. We we shall see. Yep, and give it a look, and if you'd like to help us out, help us out more, you can support the podcast over at patreon.com slash Derek Bittner, that's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-B-I-T-N-E-R, -E -E to listen to the next episode three days early. And make sure to return next time as we discuss chapters 246 to 250 of One Piece. Until then, my friends, bye. Remember to take life, one piece at a time. It's our duty. The duty of every citizen. That's crazy. I know. I I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner. Wait a sec. You're saying they forced you to lead us all here? <laughs> if that's true, <laughs>